It's time to get squeaky clean on this week's episode of Photography Out Loud. My name is Paul Davis, and as always, I'm joined, joined with Joel Longbone. How are you doing? You all right? Yeah, good, you? <laughs> yeah. Squeaky clean, eh? Yeah, squeak. Yeah. You, you saw the frustration on my face entering into that, going, what am I going to say? Yeah, it wasn't the worst thing you could have said, I suppose. I, I could have gone a lot worse. Yeah. Could have gone a lot worse. Yeah, squeaky clean just sounds like you're going to be like using a sponge there. Well, I've got the Brilla pad down here, oh, dear. just in case. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's just going to be crying. Don't do that to the sensor. Don't yeah, do that to the no, sensor. Yeah, no, definitely. So, yeah, this week's episode, uh, we're going to be doing a live sensor clean, Joel, Ooh. Uh, which is uh, going to be uh, either showing you how easy it is to clean a sensor <laughs> or potentially how difficult it is to clean a sensor. So, uh, <laughs> But we're, we're going to be doing that and also going to be uh, going over sort of the uh, different types of equipment that you can buy to do uh, different types of sensor cleans as well. So, yeah, we've got... Couple of little goodies down there, so nice. which will be uh, which will be quite nice. But before we get into that, how's your week been? You've been good. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Again, it's gone really, really quick. Yeah. Although I am looking forward to the TPS. Yes, and that is what week is it? Next this weekend. It this weekend. Tomorrow. It starts tomorrow. There we go. So <laughs> that's why I'm not here on Monday. Ah, Tuesday. now the things falling. So I'm going place. down. Going down tomorrow night. Yeah. Let but us know uh, in the comments if you're heading you down. Sunday and Monday, yeah. So yeah. If you see me there, wave. Yeah, but you're probably going to be quite busy though, aren't you? I would have thought. Yeah. We'll see. It depends how many people are. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it does, to be fair. Uh, so. see. But yeah, no, I'll be wearing Cambrian t shirts. So. Oh, that's nice. You got your newly designed t shirts. Oh, got a new one there. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. And um, put in the comments b- below if you, if you want us to start selling these t shirts and we'll uh, figure it out. Yeah, because there's a few people that like our t-shirt designs. Yeah, like the mountain one with the, the mountain one. I think it's really coordinates because it's got our like the coordinates of the. We'll shop have to as do well. some mugs and stuff. I think so. I think so. It'll be lovely to see some stuff like that. Yeah, coming on. So water yeah. bottles. Yeah, watch this space. We'll yeah. see what we can get together. So, but yeah, let us know oh, if tote uh, bags. Oh, oh, tote bags tote would be bags. good. Would they be totes great? Yeah. Ha. <laughs> Proper dad joke. <laughs> oh, Deary me. Uh, but yeah, it'd be wonderful to know <coughs> if, if you're going to TPS uh, or also give them the comments on uh, what you think on Joel's, Joel's lovely new uh, design on the t shirt as well. So, <laughs> and um, how's your week been? Don't worry about that. How's your week been? It's been good. It's been good. Again, very quick. Uh, we've had some new bits come out from various different people and some official launches uh, that, have, uh, that have been announced as Pray well, which is hell. quite nice. So a couple, a couple of things that we don't actually sell, which is a bit annoying, okay. but obviously have a big impact within the industry as well. Um, the the first one is uh, the GoPro. So oh, yeah, the, the new 10. the new ten that's come out, <clears throat> absolutely insane. Um, so it's got the new uh, hyper smooth in it, which is super steady. Which but is I their stabilisation. Yeah, their, their stabilisation system. So they just call it a you know a nice cool name because they're GoPro, aren't they? Yeah. And. Um, also, you know, the main thing that they've pushed is uh, the amount of frames per second that you can get at higher resolutions One as well. One million. P- pretty much. <clears throat> so we're up to 5.3K. So obviously you can yeah. uh, over record for 4K cropping, sure. uh, but you can have 60 frames per second at uh, that okay. high resolution. Uh, and then at 4K, you can have 120 frames per second. And at 2.7K, you can have 240 frames per second. Which is wow. uh, absolutely insane. So what did you get at 1080? It, it didn't even say. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm guessing it's 240. Mm. Um, but it's quite a substantial. It is, yeah, yeah. And um, so you know they're really and what's that? Eight times. Eight times slow mo. Yeah. So if if you like shooting 1080, at 25 or 30. Yeah. Times, yeah. E- exactly. Uh, so it's. But if you obviously, it's nice to have that cropping feature with the GoPro. They're fairly it wide, smooth it out as well. so you do need them. Gives you that smoothness on them, like you just said. Uh, but it's all about that slow mo. Always has been about GoPro series or yeah. action cams, and it, and it's great because as well you could film at sixty yes. frames a second in mm-hmm. five point two seven K whatever. Yeah. And then if you're showing it on a sixty frames per second screen. Or even at 4K at 120. Yeah. Like on iPhones and stuff oh, with the new 120 hertz yeah. uh, I watched, screens. I watched the promo video on the iPhone because that's got the higher frames built into the screen as well, hasn't it? It's just absolutely stunning. It really is. Um, so, we'll have but, to relook at 
whether we can get hold of. I Joe know. Kogan. I know. It would. It would be nice if we could. Uh, if we could get hold of them. Uh, but they're really pushing their auto upload uh, like feature now as well. So it is a subscri subscription based service, which you'd expect from like a cloud system. Uh, but it is all your video stored on, on stuff like this. And it's like, I think it's like £5 a month or, or something like that. Um, but the, the auto upload, so you can just set it. Obviously, it's got built in Wi Fi. When you get into a, a Wi Fi area like your home, plug it into charge, it'll just automatically upload That's everything to your own cloud like your smartphone yeah is. yeah uh, you can do it through your smartphone which is a little bit slower so you can still do it out and about they've improved that i think they've said that there it's uh performs 30 percent better than the uh sounds nine. like apple doesn't it yeah we have improved it by 30 yeah. percent so yeah it's it's uh it's it's nice to see, nice to see as well <coughs> And funny that you mention Apple, Joel, because oh. obviously there's been a little bit of update coming out of yeah. uh, uh, Apple's Silicon Valley, Cupertino. as it were, um, which we're seeing, uh, we've just seen, obviously, the launch of the uh, iPhone 13. Um, and the 13 Pro. And the 13 Pro and the, the, the Mini Pro and, and all that sort of stuff. Um, obviously, we're not going to talk about the phone, but there has been some slight improvements on the camera side of things. It has. So uh, they've added image stabilization on the yeah. sensor. Um, well, so, on the, yeah, the low, the Pro, uh, rather than just the Pro Max that yeah. we did last time. Yeah, exactly. And <coughs> uh, so it's on the wide angle lens. Um, so, you know, we, we're really starting to see that push in image stabilization coming into. But the sensor's still the tiny. Frame. So if you've got a full frame, don't worry. Yeah, ex exactly. <laughs> and, uh, well, if it, then and it's got three times optical zoom. It has. Which yeah. Which is still like rubbish compared to yeah. pretty but much it, every compact camera. Yeah, but it's accessible. It is, is interesting. But thing. again, it's going to push, like, what other cameras can do. And I think it's really good to have the phones really pushing. So you know, people like Canon, Nikon, Sony have really got to start going yeah. right. How can we really stay ahead of these phones? Exactly. Uh, which makes it very exciting uh, for for what we do here, yeah. <coughs> um, which is uh, which is nice to see. But okay. enough about phones. Going from. One extreme to the other. <laughs> uh, the R R R three is available uh, to actually uh, pre-order now. Yeah. So, um, and if you're interested, um, get in contact with us. Yeah. Um, and it's something that we can uh, help you get a hold of one, basically. Yeah. So, uh, it is one of those uh, products that they'll. Um, it's what do they call it? Uh, selective distribution or something, isn't it? So mm -hmm. it only goes to like the, the very big stores. But uh, if if you're struggling to get one, uh, you know, just give us a call and we can help you source one. That's uh, sure. not a problem. Uh, but they have released two new lenses when the R three came out. So they've got a lovely little sixteen mil, um, which I think has been designed because of you know the the vlogging sort of industry. Yeah. And actually having something that you can hold at the hand and actually get it all in. Yeah. Super, super tiny. Um, it's got w just one wheel on it, which is normally would be like manual focus oh, yeah, and, yeah. and stuff like that. Uh, but because all of the other sort of RF lenses, we've, we've seen three wheels in the past, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, so you've, you've got a control wheel. So on the new 16mm, there is a little switch. So you can say... Um, can yeah, I have it manual focus or can I have control uh, the wheel. control wheel? Uh, which which is nice. It's yeah, cool. it's, it's nice to see. It's probably the start. Well, it's probably one of the biggest changes we've seen in a lens in terms of functionality, isn't it? Being able to. I really like doing exposure compensation on that <coughs> on that wheel. It just seems like the right place to do yeah, it. Exactly. I don't know why. And being able to change the ISO and stuff. Is yeah. Cool. Well, I mean, it's just a wheel that you can. Customised, yeah. yeah. So it's just whatever, <coughs> whatever you decide that you want to do, which is, uh, which is a lovely thing. Uh, and there's, there's also a uh, RF one hundred to four hundred. So I think they were going to make something like a seventy to three hundred, but because of obviously new technology and you can shrink things down mm -hmm. and get it lovely and small, <coughs> um, then you know they've 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 gone for a, a one hundred to four hundred. It's only What's under. The aperture on it? It's a five points. Hold on. Five point six to f eight. Okay. So, so uh, which you would which you'd expect, <coughs> um, but it's uh, six point five or under six point five centimeters long. So it's only tiny cool. for a one hundred to four hundred, yeah, no, cool. which might be the smallest one hundred to four. No, because you've got Olympus and stuff like that. So. 
Well, no, because theirs is quite. It's quite big. Yeah, we'll have to see where. So I think actually this would it's be the aperture that they've obviously. Yeah, that sacrificed on, which they're saying you know like R six R five, you know just up the ISO and and off you go really. Not wrong. So it's just depth of field at that point, but when you're zoomed in that much, it's either here or there, is it? Yeah. In reality. Yeah. And, and again, I think they've got lenses that are, <coughs> are fast. So they've, you know, they've, they've kept the really fast lenses and then you've got the really tiny stuff uh, that, you can, that you can have as well. So. We'll have to see. Mm, yeah. I might see if I can play with them. Well, they won't have got those ones, but I'm hoping they've got a 100 to 500. Yeah, yeah really it'd be nice to, to play them. with a 100 to 500, won't it? So. But you never know, they might, they might have one of these at TPS. Might have an R3 there. In a box, though. Mm. They'll have R3s there, definitely. So, try that fresh eye thing for me. Fresh from um, Olymp uh, from the Olympics. Yeah, well, yeah, they probably will be, won't they? So, but I, yeah, I don't know how how the mechanics are going to work with lots of people touching things. There might not be lots of people. <laughs> I don't know, John. I don't know. So, I think people gone. will make the commute, but we'll we'll I don't see. Know, most people I've spoken to said they aren't going. Really? Lots of customers I've spoken to this week. Like that. Nah. Oh, interesting. So we'll see. Maybe we're just a bit Maybe. in North Wales. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to stay away from Delta. Yeah. <laughs> whatever other whatever other variants they might there. have. Yeah, no, definitely. It'll be the so, TPS variant at this rate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You'd be putting people off. <coughs> You'd be putting I'm people not. off. <laughs> Go if you want to. Just wear a mask. Oh, be indeed. sensible. Yeah, just, uh, it's like anything, isn't it? So if anybody gets too close sense. to me, though, I might take a monopod. Yeah. Get away, get away, get away. Two meter monopods. <laughs> yeah. um, we've also seen uh, another those little... Put spikes on the end. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've also seen a new small lens come out from Nikon as well. So they have released uh, a little 40mm f2, which works on the uh, full frame and on the DX. So 40mm on the FX or full frame, uh, but it gives you a nice little 60mm on the uh, on the DX and you know <coughs> sensible price point so it's not too expensive um, and once again it's just been made to be a really tiny sort of walkabout walkabout lens cool. so I don't think it's anything special apart from you know what it is but it's, it's a, nice it's a small 40 mil sensibly DSLR priced um, so it's for the DSLR isn't it it's not for Z no Z sorry oh okay did I not say that you didn't specify no. yeah, when you said like so, DX and stuff. Uh, I, I, just, like, <laughs> I just assume now. Yeah. Cool. So uh, so it worked well with like the Z50. Keep it nice. Well. Yeah. And the uh, ZFC. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Be nice on the ZFC actually. Which is probably why they did it, isn't it? Yeah. In all fairness. Mm. I'm interested to see if Nikon are there with the ZFC. Mm. With that. Be nice to see, won't it? Mm -hmm. Let me know if it. If it just, I just need to know if it yeah. just feels right. Yeah. I don't care about anything else. If, well, as long as it feels better than a DF, then it'll be winning. Yeah. <laughs> it will indeed. I think it will feel better than a DF, to be fair. But there we go. Brilliant. It's not like I'm hating, but... You're not hating. No, it's just a DF was rubbish. <laughs> um, should we quickly go to the comments, just before we start talking yes. about... We've only got a cleaning. few... People obviously aren't uh, excited ready. by uh, sensor clean. So yeah. they've gone well, to we TPS. Did, we did, TPS we did advertise extremely late oh, this week. Geez. so Just a busy week this week. Yeah, yeah, indeed. So Ian says, afternoon you two. Hope you are well. Thank Hello. you very much for joining us. We are, we certainly are. Is there any cycling on? The Tour of Britain's finished now, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. 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 It's great seeing lots of local pictures from obviously coming through Conway as well. Yeah, so. definitely, for sure. Um, yeah, I, I can't think that there's another bike thing going at the moment, so there we go. Um, uh, Johnny Moe says, afternoon likey lads. Yeah. Uh, did Cheers you see that Lauer time. announced a new lens to 35mm 0.95 for full frame? Yeah, we did. Thing we, is though, we don't never, stock it yet because we're trying to find. Yeah, and because, I mean, we, we can talk about iPhones because we have iPhones. We've, we've used GoPros sort of in the past. Um, I honestly, I've never touched a... I've ordered some in. How do, some how do you even say it? Lauer. 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 They're pretty good. Yeah. Um, and I've ordered some for some customers, but we don't have um, like a, a, yeah. a distributor that we yeah. think would work for us. Because um, our thing is, we only buy stuff from distributors or manufacturers. For the support, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. Like we can order 
a lot of stuff, but we decide not to because we want to be able to, you know, if it breaks, be able mm. to get it fixed for you or replaced. Like that's our customer service. So if we don't think we can get the support from our manufacturers or suppliers, we just don't bother. Mm, indeed. But there we go. Um, but yeah, it was good to see you, Johnny. Yeah. Thanks very much for um, joining us. Yeah. And uh, thanks for the uh, information. I like your uh, profile pic, by the way. Can you see it? Oh, yeah. It's, uh, it's even bigger here, mate. Oh, yeah, of course it is. <laughs> It's like that episode we did on the tripods. <laughs> <laughs> Floating Paul's head yeah. and hands. Just just a little whisper yeah. of uh, some sort of tripod. Yeah. So that's and brilliant. then uh, Ian says, yes, on the GCN app on my iPad Pro. Ah, that's brilliant. Cool. Fantastic. Sounds good. Right. You learn new things. On I know, it's great. On Paul, don't you? Yeah. All about different sports. Yeah, that's cool. It's like the... Yeah, it's the community side of things. We it? definitely need to do yeah. a rabbit trail podcast. A rabbit trail where we just start talk on about thing. anything. Yeah. Start, we'll start with photography and, boom. and move as far away from it as possible. I think we need the live comments though as well. No, that we would, would always do. help, wouldn't they? We so. could do it like this and then just put it in podcast form afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Lots of people do podcasts whilst being videoed. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's, it's a thing now, isn't it? Should we talk about a little bit about sensor cleaning? Go for it. Yeah. If you're the uh, sensor cleaning <laughs> dude, man, a, master, grandmaster. Move this out of the way. Oh, careful, don't drop it. I shouldn't have closed the lid, really, but there we go. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, sensor clean, Joel. Am I doing the switchy switchy? I thought you were going to do the sensor clean. I am not doing <laughs> any such thing. Now, you, As shouldn't, you, well know. you shouldn't be too scared of sensor cleaning because um, though it has. Magic hands. Ta da! <laughs> Um, th though it has, uh, I, it's got that sort of sort of thing around it. I'm looking for words again, uh, anyway, where it can be a bit scary. It's got a mysticism. Yes, that's exactly the word I was looking for. And I'm glad you said <laughs> mystique. it. Mystique. Um, and it, it's mainly because uh, you are going into the camera. Aren't if you? you screw it up, yeah, it could screw you. But again, you could you could do it with with cleaning the front of your lens. You know, if there's sand on the front of your lens and you're cleaning it, so there's a bad thing. I think you can make mistakes sort of <coughs> everywhere. Uh, obviously, we're going into the depths of the camera, the heartbeat of the camera. So obviously, there there is that sort of uh, slight whatever Joel said on that word mysticism. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not even going to attempt it. <laughs> uh, Sounds like an X, man. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll go with that's a that's a way to re remember it, isn't it? Um, but I think. Just whilst you're watching this, at any point, if you get too scared, you can just say, actually, I'll just take it to them in Cambria and they'll do it for me. Yeah, yeah. So there's always, it's like working on your car. Yeah. You could work on your car, but then if you can't do it, you've just got to take it to the yeah. mechanic. You see, you could, people could work on their own car, couldn't you? I you, know, you could find the information. I've changed the brakes on my car. Well, there you go, there you go. Yeah, but if you get that wrong. <laughs> Ex yeah, it's not exactly. going to end it's well, is it? Death, isn't it? So, um, and yeah, it's 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 very similar thing. So obviously, you can bring it into us; <coughs> we can clean it for you. We've got very sensible rates. Uh, give us a call or drop us a message if you're interested in that. We can even pick it up. Yeah, pick it up and deliver drop it, it off. back. All so, insured by courier. Yeah. So whatever's magic, what you know, we can sell you the gear. We can do it for you. Um, we can make it a very simple process for you. We can sell you the gear and then realise you don't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's always worth a try. <laughs> what is it? The the house always wins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear Play me. Poker now. Yes, <clears throat> indeed. Uh, so, yeah, no, it is a fairly simple process. There's a couple of things to obviously bear in mind. Um, what we're trying to do when we're, we're cleaning a sensor is getting bits of dust off the sensor. That's the majority of what we're cleaning. Um, and the way that you would potentially see bits of dust on your pictures or possibly video is that they will appear sort of as little black blobs. It now, could look like you've got a planet yes, <laughs> in yeah. your sky. Yeah. What is that weird planet? And consist what we'd see is uh, that the higher aperture that you use, the, the more that you would see these. As it focuses. Man. Yeah, so it brings the focus point closer <coughs> to to the sensor itself. So that's why they become more prominent. So, um, so if you shoot at 2.8, doesn't matter. It doesn't. You'll it, never yeah, see them. You'll it. never see them. Um, but if you're like a portrait photographer and you like doing the odd landscape, then I would, I would recommend checking 
like taking a picture of like a sky or a blank piece of paper at f22 before you go out and take some landscape pictures because you might have dust on your sensor that you don't actually show about as well how to find dirt on your sensor yeah find dirt on your sensor i have I'm not actually prepared for that bit ah. so we can talk us through it we can talk yeah talk you through it so because that's the key thing is figuring out whether it is dirty or not yeah because uh, the one of the things that we do get a lot i of, could mock it i've got a white floor joel <clears> it's fine you got a white ceiling and all yeah i'll we'll do it there then um, so but we one the one quick thing the reason i was saying that is because we do have a lot of people coming in going i've got a dirty sensor and they don't have a dirty sensor they've got a dirty viewfinder or yeah, a dirty lens it's <laughs> yeah. a big thing or something yeah. on your mirror so it is likely that your sensor is dirty but not always yeah there are other ways that it could be getting dirt on it. Absolutely. Um, <coughs> and it's really easy to test. Um, so what you can do is you can... Uh, you can I can't... My camera's in the way. Do what? When we switch other cameras. There we go. I think that's in place. Uh, there we go. So uh, what you can do is uh, you want to move your uh, camera onto... <laughs> You said it'd be easy when it, it is on top easier. of your head. Uh, you want to move on to aperture priority, and uh, what we're trying to do, Joel, is we're trying to blur everything else apart from the dust sure. uh, on uh, that's on the sensor itself. So uh, a couple of things that we can do is, if you do this in a fairly darkish room, it's going to help. Uh, we want to move our ISO. So on this Sony, it's just on the back switch here, uh, and I'm going to move my ISO onto you know a low ISO. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's given me, a, uh, if I just point it at the floor now, yeah, about a tenth of a second. So we're wanting to blur, basically. Uh, and then also uh, what we would uh, what we'd do... <laughs> <laughs> um, is that going to focus? Oh, oh, let, let's put Pip on. There we go. It's going to be fun watching you wiggle it around. <laughs> uh, uh, what we're also going to do as well is uh, we're going to move on to uh, manual focus as well. So uh, just going to move this on to manual focus. Uh, and then we're going to take a picture of something like a sky uh, or uh, a white piece of paper or a white ceiling. So <coughs> we'll use the, the In white our country, floor. It might be easier to find a white ceiling or a white floor than it would we'll be a sky. That, just so no one's looking at the table. Uh, and then when I shoot, what I'm, I'm actually going to add, uh, I'm actually going to add blur to the photo as well. Intentional with, camera motion. Yeah. Movement. Yes. Yeah. A very arty part. Uh, so, um, <laughs> <laughs> right, move that way. It's because it's reversed on the screen. That's what it is. Right, hey? That'll do. Do you mean it's reversed on the screen? Because it's not it's mirrored, exactly isn't it? It's the same way. No, it's not mirrored. Um, so, and then what you're going to see uh, on the back screen is that you'll have a, you, you'll have a blank picture, basically. Uh, and then you want to use your zoom in feature. Well, this is where we see if uh, my sensor is dirty or not. It's pretty clean, actually, to be honest. You mean you didn't sneeze on it? No. Did I move to... No, I didn't. So, F... Sorry, I forgot to mention, you need to move to F22. Okay. <laughs> so, F22 on your aperture. Uh, I was wondering why it's so clean. Uh, <laughs> Take a picture of, there we go, that's better, a longer exposure. <laughs> and then look back at this, it is fairly clean, so it's probably not going to pick it up on the, uh, on the live stream. Uh, it might pick it up if you're re-watching this at any point, uh, but <laughs> where's it gone? I did see a dot. Zoom out slightly. And, 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 and this is why I shouldn't have done a live. <clears throat> you just didn't want to subject it to dirt, did you? No, no, no. So there's a couple of dots on there. So it does actually need... Ah, there it is. I don't know if that's picking it up. If I zoom right into that, it's probably not picking it up on the live stream. But there's a nice big uh, uh, block of dirt there. <laughs> is it? No, it's not. <laughs> um, so we, we do need to clean this sensor, basically. Oh, that's so, um, I was going to do it anyway. <laughs> it's like doing a car washing a tutorial and the car's just been The car's valid. actually <laughs> clean, isn't it? Yeah, so um, now we know that there's dust on the sensor. You want to prepare an area that's fairly clean, okay? Because so not outside in the garden. 
on a windy no, day. No, and not on the beach on you know a blowy day <laughs> on as the a beach. Uh, as an ex- an extreme example. Um, but again, you know, you can even go to the point <clears throat> of a, a quiet area in your room, uh, in your house. Um, because even people walking around you is going to kick up a bit of Some dust. people do it in the bathroom, don't they? Bathroom's very good, or a spare room. Basically, where there's not a lot of foot traffic, really, really helps. Don't do it in a room full of cats or dogs. No. Uh, or a really thick piled carpet. <laughs> no, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, and just clean the surface down. <clears throat> uh, so clean the surface. Um, and then that's going to help an awful lot. Because you might get it clean, and then you'd be looking at it. And then you'll notice that bits of dust start it's to dropping, fall, yeah. even just from the air, basically. So, um, yeah, with some mirrorless cameras and all of the DSLR systems, you do need to do something within the camera to tell uh, that you're starting a clean, basically. DSLR's um, battery charged fully. Yeah, yeah. So generally everything needs to be fully charged. Um Again, I've forgotten where it is on this camera. It will be different for every camera. He does clean his camera regularly. I, I, well, I'm a portrait photographer, so I don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> cleaning mode. Okay, so if you're a Sony user, and specifically an A7 III, <laughs> then if you go to uh, Setup 2, uh, Page 2, and then there's a cleaning mode. Now what this will do is it will, it will vibrate the sensor so it's actually trying to clean it for us. But then you do get it's a notice. shaking the sensor very quickly. Yeah, it does, yeah. <coughs> so you do get a notice on the back of the s- s- screen saying uh, it's performed its own sensor cleaning, which does that vibration thing. Which um, is incidentally what lots of cameras, you can decide whether it's going to do it or not. Some cameras will clean as you turn it on and when you turn it off, or you can kind of turn it off at the beginning so it switches on much, fast, much faster. Yeah. But it tries to always keep, when it's got image, built-in image stabilisation or it's got a system in there ready for it, it's a useful feature, which is yeah. why your camera might start slower than you expect. Yeah, because it's, it's actually doing the funny, it, shaky it's thing. It's doing that funny, shaky thing. So, um, But, I mean, certainly with Sony's, you do this, and then what it does, it actually locks, because there's in-body stabilisation with this model, uh, it actually locks off that image stabiliser to stop it moving around. Yeah, so It wouldn't be ideal trying to clean it whilst the sensor's moving around. Yeah, it, it just makes it difficult. Uh, I don't think it this causes... Way, this uh, way, this <laughs> way, this way. don't think it causes <coughs> any damage. No. Uh, I mean, I'm not they going... They put it in for a reason, didn't they? Yeah. I'm not going down that route. I, I've looked at it and there's lots of forums and people cleaning without doing this and with doing it and... The internet, gotta love it. Yeah, it, it's it's a it's a big thing. So just do as the manufacturer tells you to. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you know this is the preferred method, um, and also what you can do is you, is you can just give the camera a general clean uh, b- before you actually start. Um, so things like puffer buffer, puffer brushes uh, or puffers uh, are really good for this. Um, personally, what I use at this stage, and I, I will just mention this stage, not any other stage. Uh, is uh, compressed Ooh. air. It does work very, very well. Um, and it's just really good for getting rid of any dust and uh, can be used on, on the back of lenses as well. Oh, I'm cleaning that so it doesn't really matter. Oh, um, collect all that dirt. You have got to be really careful with compressed air uh, because there is obviously solvents in the bottom that help you, you know, push the air out. Uh, and it doesn't look, I don't know if it's going to... These ones have actually changed slightly from the previous blue models. Yeah, they, they have, haven't they? Because the uh, accelerant is different. To yeah, it. well, it's clear, yeah. but there's still... I still I c- leave a residue. I can still see stuff coming out when it's... Uh, also, don't shake it. It makes your hand very cold. Yes, indeed. So these have got to be used. I mean, they do say important use upright. So uh, that was not me saying how to actually use <laughs> yeah. it. Uh, it. That was me trying to show you the accelerant that was inside. But it's, uh, and it can be overly out. powerful as well. It can. Um, and you, don't, you especially don't want the accelerant on the sensor, uh, even a small amount of it. So uh, you don't want to use those for sensors. Um, puffer buffs are really, or just standard puffers, uh, are really good for, or the blowers they're typically called as well, aren't they? Right. Um, are really good uh, just to get things going a little bit. 
Yeah. I tend to hold uh, my camera upside down when I do this. Uh, Use gravity and then, the way it was intended. Yeah. Make yeah. stuff fall. It sort of works very, very <coughs> well. Now, this particular puffer or blower, I'm going to call it a blower because that's its proper name, isn't it? Um, this one is made by the company that we do a lot of sensor cleaning with, which visible is dust. Visible Dust. Uh, really, really nice. But other manufacturers do exist. They do. Lens can we sell. Yeah, but this it's one's nice. very good because it has a filter at the bottom. And it's enormous. Yeah, and it's nice and big. You get a good bit of air out of it. But more importantly, it's got the filter at the bottom. Which is drawing because in clean air. air comes in from this end and goes out to the end. It's not... Even though it's called, sometimes called a rocket blower. We, we call him the rocket scientist. <laughs> Can you tell why? Uh, yeah. Uh, even though it's called a rocket blower sometimes, it's not rocket science. Oui. Um, so, but you can get, like you said, like the lens pen ones, they don't have a filter at the end. So just keep it clean um, in the interim. So put it into like a, a, a bag or something like that to, to keep it clean. Um, but uh, we, with these ones, there's just, you're not going to be, puffing dust onto uh, onto your actual uh, onto your actual sensor as well so we're just going to give this a quick blow out and this is going to remove any big bits of dust there we go that should do uh, and now what we're going to uh, come on there we go so it's about there I should have marked the uh, an X marks the yeah so there are the next step, really, after this, is to uh, use swabs and solutions on, on the actual sensor uh, to, to get this cleaned. And if you're a, so again, we use uh, visible dust. Now, if you're a Sony user, you need to look out for these uh, orange sticks. So these have been designed specifically for Sony use. Um, and it's, I think the technical thing is the there's the type of glue that Sony used to hold the sensor in place. Uh, <coughs> you need to be cautious uh, that you don't want to remove that. So these swabs have been specifically designed to work well with these. And also they brought out a certain type of solution that works with these swabs, which is called V-Dust Plus. Uh, so this is what we use in store to do our own cleans. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you're a Sony user, then uh, these are the these are the really the only two that you can use. So the V Dust Plus solution and the uh, orange swabs. If you're on any of the brands, then you can switch over to uh, green swabs, uh, which are actually easier to use. So I would recommend that you would use green if you're on anything but Sony. Sure. Um, they're a lot easier to use, and you can use different solutions with them from Visible Dust. Uh, the most popular being Sensor Clean. Um, obviously, it does what it says, does on, what it says tin. on the tin. <laughs> uh, and there is also Smear Away. So you may have heard of uh, some particular cameras uh, leaving some form of oily residue. Um, I wonder who that could have been. Yeah, they <laughs> can't. Um, <laughs> and pardon me. Um, and uh, th this is the solution that you'd use. So you can buy these in starter packs as well. So uh, we do starter packs. Uh, so you can get starter packs from uh, Visible Dust. Will that focus? There we go. So uh, <coughs> yes, available in uh, different types. Um, that fancy handle. Yeah, and they come with a handle to make it a little bit easier to uh, clean with, and also the solution that you need for the swabs as well. So they're available in green, yellow, and all the different types of sizes. So they, uh, they do measure the sticks uh, for the different types of cameras in almost like by the magnification that the lens would use. Sure. So uh, for instance, if you were a uh, full frame, this would be times 1.0 uh, and then 1.6 for APS-C. And then strangely for micro four thirds, um, you, you actually swap it up and down rather than side to side. Uh, so you would use a, um, a 1.3 swab uh, to do this. So. Uh, but again, just to throw you off. Yeah, just, just to throw you off, just to make things a little bit uh, difficult. If you're not too sure on what swabs and solution to use, give depending on, your, uh, on the camera, then give us a shout, drop us a message, either in the comments here or just generally on other commenting platforms. 
<laughs> um, so we'll, we'll start a lens clean now, or a sensor clean rather. So these these are not essential, uh, but are really really handy uh, for us because we we do sensor clean sort of day in day out. Um, they make the job a heck of a lot easier because really to get a sensor fully cleaned without uh, a loop and a light, so just a, magnif a magnified look of what's happening on the sensor, I would, I would need to do that reference shot uh, sort of over and over again, basically. Uh, so th this just stops uh, me doing that reference shot. I can actually see uh, what's going down uh, on the sensor there, which is very nice. You can see what's going on yeah. in the back of your head then. I know, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully no one saw my bald spot. Um, <laughs> That's what the glare was. Uh, horrority horror horror. <laughs> so uh, we're going to be using, uh, so this is a, a 1.0 swab. Because we've got a full frame. Because we've got Sony. a full frame Sony. And it's orange because it's Sony. Um, Just like their logo. Just, yeah, I think that's where the, the colour came from. Maybe. Who knows? So once it's out of the packaging, like the, the fabric on here and the solution, they are designed to attract dust. So these, you can't use these indefinitely. Uh, there is a certain uh, lifespan to it's them. like toilet paper. <laughs> um, use it once. <laughs> I, I think uh, we can go a little bit more than once. Um, so fold it. <laughs> yeah, we don't fold these, but I know, I know where the analogy is coming from. Um, and uh, we're going to apply the solution as well. And then you just need enough solution just to, to, just to cover. Uh, you don't want to, to make this fabric too much. Uh, sodden. It, it's just enough amount to, uh, just to wet it. So normally I put like a, a blob there, a blob in the middle and a blob at the ends there, just like that. And that's plenty... Uh, and I think uh, it, it really does help pick up the dust as well, uh, but also I, I do strongly feel that adding solution onto a brush uh, really stops any uh, s scratching from happening and stuff like that. just helps a smooth process. Mm -hmm. Now, the actual technique that you're going to use, um, so have a good look at sort of where your bits of dust are, so I can see a couple of bits of dust there. Pressure's on now. Live Ooh. sensor cleaning. Look at this jaw. It looks like a black hole. Right, I just need to concentrate now. Um, so, um, do you want me to dab your brow yeah. of sweat? <laughs> Suture. Four <sets. laughs> um, And essentially, what we're going to do is we're just going to start from one end and we're going to go to the other. And the technique that we're going to use is that we sort of we, we do sort of this technique as as we go as as best we can. Um, just like wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. Um, but the nice thing is, is that the, the solution that's on here will dry immediately. So it's really just wax on and then it's automatically off anyway, cool. uh, which is quite nice. So we're going to start from uh, one side of the sensor um, and then we're just going to work our way to the other. So we're going to place it right into the corner, just there. Make sure you guys can see. My apologies, it is focusing on my hand rather than the sensor at the moment. And then I'm just going to move all the way across ah, in that sort of motion there and then lift out. And then my, my hand probably got in the way, so I will try and do that a little bit better. So you can keep using this. There is a point, and you would probably see it, where you're either just moving the dust around or you're actually putting more dust back on. At that point, just grab another, uh, grab another swab and uh, continue. So uh, I'm going to quickly have a look, just see if I've done any damage. And this is the, um, the professional way to hold a swab. In the mouth. <laughs> you look like Can some people like... see it? I'm only in a corner, aren't I? You look like some uh, photographic redneck Yeah. With a piece of straw in your mouth. That is still, yeah, that's still quite dirty, that. So, um, to be honest, if you're very lucky, one swab sometimes just does it. I haven't been very lucky. One sheet does yeah. it all. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so I'm going to have to go in again. And Where actually... The of the kitchen roll exists. Normally when... Oh, oh. Sorry, I'm going to... Intense. 
kind of want a satisfying pop at the end of that. <laughs> like a... Whose idea was it to a live sensor? Yeah, that would be you. And nobody's going to know if it's clean or not. I, I will. I'll see it on the screen. Yeah. Right, I need to go one more. And then I think we're there. Ooh. Should have shot a before and after just to prove that he had actually cleaned it. All anybody knows, there's no sensor in this camera. You should have put a light somewhere, yeah. shouldn't you? <laughs> should have stuck one on there your head. Is, look. You can see the sensor if I hide. Okay. There it is. Look at that blue and green goodness. Right, let's have a look. I've done it, John. Have you? Have it's you actually done it? It's clean. <laughs> You're just saying that so you don't have to keep wiping it. It's clean. It is clean. Right. I believe you. Um, or is it? Do we need external verification that it is actually clean? Possibly. That loop ain't clean. <laughs> that loop, the loop ain't clean, I'll tell you. And actually, having the, the loop clean would help. This particular uh, loop, again, from Visible Dust, does have a uh, red light mode on it, which really accentuates the bits of dust. And actually, no, it's not clean. It's not because you keep putting the dust off your loof onto the I sensor. think I am, you know. Yeah, <laughs> clean, clean your bits first. <laughs> Great um, life advice. It is. <laughs> you come out with some crackers, don't you, lad? Goodness me. And this is where you check to make sure the lens has no dust whilst you've been there. I did that before with the... No, but I'm just saying, you, bus, you were taking yeah. a while. It could have... <laughs> Could have come off your loop. You, you could go again, and uh, again, you, you're oh, going to make do sure that. your lens cap is clean, back cap. Yeah, all, all that sort of stuff. Uh, so I cleaned <coughs> the, the back of the lens with this. Johnny Moe's already laughing. <laughs> clean I've your got bits. That. <laughs> I've gone red. It's great. Clean your bits. If only you'd done something gift worthy at the same time. <laughs> Uh, so we're going to do that reference photo again. So yep. just to go over the reference, um, you know, we'd move to aperture. aperture priority. We're on f22, and we want to cause as much blur as possible. So I want to add camera blur, and I want to add lens blur. So I put my camera onto uh, lens onto manual focus, um, and I've put my uh, my shutter speed is going to be fairly long. I accidentally just took a photo there, so just bear with Three us. Three hours later. <laughs> it's quite dark in here, isn't it, John? Who <laughs> knew? I'll just switch it off and on again. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna, so I'm going to point it at just our floor. Is our floor clean? Well, it's blurred anyway, so it doesn't matter. Have a look at that. And that is... Pretty much clean. Looks like an out of focus white blob. Yeah. So, so you're seeing out of focus white blob. I am seeing a very small speck of dust on the back of here. And the important thing sometimes is actually just go, is that acceptable? So for. If it's in your lower yeah. third, you probably don't. This is obviously it. for when you're cleaning at home. When we do cleans in store, we, we aim for perfection. Yeah. He can get quite frustrated when he's been spending an hour cleaning the yeah, sensor. Yeah, I mean, it, it can take... Because some of the sensors we get in here, yeah, they've got pollen, oil... We've, we've done all sorts. Somebody's sneezed inside it. Yeah. Somebody's used a T-shirt to clean the sensor. Do not do that. Do not put your sensor uh, your lens cloth in there. Yeah. Literally only swabs. You, Nothing else. You really just want to use recommended stuff. Uh, sure. And there are lots of cleaning solutions for um, sensor cleaning on the market we have tried lots of them and we have found that visible dust is by far the easiest to use doesn't leave any smears because the other problem with some swabs lower quality ones is they start disintegrating they do you end up putting swab material on yeah. your sensor yeah which so is ridiculous all, all of those things so we find that visible dust really does work. They're not cheap, but again, we, we, we are talking about you know the security of of your camera yeah. uh, and just making sure it's right uh, is you know <coughs> is is important. Um, th there are other stuff available. Like I said, it, it all it all works. 
so um, there's, oh, I think we've used every brand in the past. Um, and, you know, there's, there's another good brand. I think it's just called Swab, which it did work very, very well. Once again, I think an American brand. Um, and, yeah, th they did work very well. It was just a case of uh, we found that Visible Dust was just so much easier to use. Didn't leave sort of smears on the sensor or anything like that. It's the one that we sell and the one that we recommend because it's the one. It's the one we use. Ourselves. The one we use. And, and I think that's that the thing with for most of what we buy, isn't it? That we we tried it before we yeah. buy it, or it came highly recommended to us from another specialist. Yeah. So we try not to sell anything that we won't put our name on if we had the choice. Yeah. And if there was other stuff, then um, we would say that, or you, you know, you can buy this, and it, it is a little bit cheaper. And it, you know, it's, it's worth. It's still worth getting this, even if it is cheaper. But we found, like with other stuff in the past, that yes, it's cheaper, but you'd need to like use ten swabs. Yeah. Where with the V dust, they're so strong, <coughs> you can sort of reuse them yeah. and reuse them. That one now, because I've put it down literally just there. Hence why I put it. In, yeah. Like that in my mouth. Stop it. Going anywhere. Like chewing corn. <laughs> yeah. Um again, just stop it from getting sort of dirty. But the one thing is you can do if it, if your sensor wasn't terribly disgusting, we or at least I do, I'll go and find the old swabs that you have not stuck in your mouth. And I'll wipe down like the outside of the camera. Yeah. Because then you can like it's perfect because you can kinda like yeah. get a sharpish well, we, edge to Yeah, we, we keep all of these and actually just before we start a sensor clean in store we do just run old, old swabs around just the just the outside and the switches. It's good for getting rid yeah, of the bits. And, and Especially all of on these. cannons where the rubber tends to discolour sometimes. Yeah. So the 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 great for <clears> that. So um, I think we used half a bag of these to sort out the lab as well yeah. <laughs> when we needed to clean some of the internals in there yeah. as well. So they're great little cleaners actually, but do keep them away from your your main stock of uh, of clean sensor swabs <laughs> that you intend to use for your actual sensor. Aye. So Johnny Mo. Oh dear. They're Johnny, really it's weird. lovely to see you. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like I'm going to get hammered now. <laughs> At least you've not done anything funny for him to make a gif out Indeed. of. Indeed. The really weird thing is, I'm listening on my headphones as you sound a little quieter than normal. That's why I turned it up. So You're let quieter. Us know. Oh, me? Yeah. I'm never quieter. Oh, but he said, as you sound a little quieter ah, than okay. normal. But when Paul leaned over to look through the loop, he must have been closer to her mic, and it was a weird, deep, low, dulcet tones whispering, clean your bits. <laughs> with some interesting emojis used afterwards. So there we go. Sorry about the volume. Is it any better now? We'll turn it up slightly if necessary. Yeah. But um, we're trying some different um, microphones. What are we, we using? Might, the Hollyland, because we might be uh, uh, stocking them. But these ones are great because it has a volume control. Hold on, I'll knob for each channel. So we've got both of us going left and right and you can uh, tweak the volume independently of one another. So if somebody is much quieter than the other, then we can tweak it accordingly. Oh yes, I can see that. That's, that's clever though, isn't it? Yeah, it's good. So apparently we sound much better, so that's good. Oh, fantastic. Oh, oh there we go. Oh, go this oh. way. Oh. Let's see the levels still. Um, yeah, so there we go. Dulcet tones. Dulcet tones. Who knew? Whispering. <laughs> Your best. Yeah. <laughs> Andrew says, uh, hi, is it surgery out? It is. <laughs> yeah, I felt like it for a bit. Yeah. I've gone warm. It was know. great to see you, by the way, and, and yeah, yeah. the other day. Yeah. And hope the bag's working out Should well. Should have started with that. Yeah. yeah. But he didn't. How'd you get on in your van as well? He, he didn't yeah. say hello at first. So he might have joined later. Because ah. we were late. So maybe it's like, well, you were late, Sam, yeah. late. Who yeah. knows? But yeah, it was good to see you. Um, and then Johnny Mo says, can you send me a sense of clean kit, please? How much are they? Um, do you want one for your R5? Yeah, full frame. R5 Let's know what you want it for yeah, and we'll send all out to you, mate. 100%, that's not a problem. I'll send you the payment link online. So, yeah, no, that's good. Yeah. I feel like I could try to do a sense clean now. No, no, not right now. Not got time, mate. Yeah. I wish I didn't do that live. But then again, we've done a pre-record one, actually, I think, in the past. 
but it was. Uh, well, we wouldn't have got your dulcet tones saying clean your bits if it was exactly. a pre-recorded one. Because you'd and be like, it, we're not, we're not putting that on. We're not putting that on. Yeah, and it was uh, pre-poll as well. <clears throat> so it was basically. It was like, pre-news and updates. It was. So that so would have like been the very first iteration. Slight nervous Paul on camera, and like take hundred and four. <laughs> Being stuck in your uh, room at home. It was as well. Yeah, it was in, in my room. Just like early home. COVID, wasn't it? Yeah. What videos can I do? And it yeah. was like, oh, I'll just do a on sensor. So it'd have been, yeah. But it's a good, it's a good Here reference go. photo. Here we go. Johnny says it was a very good session actually, and took some of the mystery out of it. So there, there we go. go. Yeah. Thank so, you. For it's the not leader. hard, but yeah. if you don't want to do it yourself, we then can sort it we can sort it for you. So. And Paul will clean the bits on your camera. I'll clean your bits. Uh, no, no, no. On the camera. On the camera. Sorry. And Johnny I'll says, yes, please, R5. <laughs> right, Paul will sort you out with a link later or tomorrow or next week, depending okay. on when he gets a chance. Get right in there. Yeah, there we go. Cool. You can behave. Right. <laughs> Have you got anything else? I uh, don't think so. So, this is your bit where you go like, likey, likey, sherry, sherry. Yeah. We've been through the comments. I was so. just, just going to say, if, do you recommend anything to do with the weekend? Oh, well. You could try the uh, check your dust, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, you could. That's pretty easy. <laughs> Sorry. Learn to use a clone stamp or heel if you don't want to do yeah, sensor yeah. cleaning. But you could go to F22, blur everything, and see what your sensor's looking like. Um, see whether you need your bits cleaned. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to start now. Sensor cleaning will have an alternative name at Cambrian oh, from now on, apparently. Yeah, bit, bit cleaning. Yeah. And then... Uh, it's like bit mining. What? Oh, dear. We've gone all crypto now. Um, no, just obviously check the sensors clean. And then um, if you're going to TPS, have fun. Yeah. Stay safe. Indeed. See the new cool things. And then buy from us. Oh, incidentally, if you do... <laughs> incidentally, if you do see any deals at TPS, please yeah. send us a message on uh, email, Facebook, or give us a call, um, and we'll try and match it for you. Because we'll, mm -hmm. um, we know a lot of you would really like a great deal, which we all do, but you, you want to buy from us because you know we provide great after sales, yeah. which Back we do. Back up and support. So yeah, give us a shout and we'll endeavor to do our best to uh, sort you out a deal, because um, that's what we do. There has been several manufacturers saying that. Yeah, if, they'll if support they, us. Yeah, so. Yeah. Because we know it's tough that people won't be able to get to TPS for all sorts of reasons yeah, compared to yeah. normal. So I think they just want to help people. Yeah. We always want to help people, so it's good. And uh, Andrew says, the new bag worked fine. Excellent. Uh, managed to get over it, I feel, I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly, so sorry to Welsh speakers if I got that wrong. In the surprisingly good weather. The weather has been great, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. Hopefully uh, the Andrew. weekend will be good too. And thank you very much for joining us. <coughs> and big thank you for everyone joining us, actually. Exactly. Joel. Yeah. Uh, it's been nice. Again, some lovely comments. Aye, always. Nice to see Johnny Moe yeah. sticking in the, uh, the <laughs> thing. On, on his A game, yeah. keeping you love honest. Love it. Absolutely love it. The only problem is, David wasn't here to tell us we were wrong at any point. Well, quite good, actually. I'd have got really nervous, wouldn't I? <laughs> I would have been asking for a dab on the forehead. He would have been saying, been, right. No, no, not that way. Right, you need to go and clean a GFX sensor now. <laughs> Uh, no. <laughs> and on that note, big thank you for everyone that joined us. Uh, as always, if you can make sure that you head over to our Facebook and YouTube channels, uh, like, subscribe uh, likey, as much likey. as you possibly can. <laughs> we need to get Johnny Mo recording saying likey, likey, yeah. show, show, subscribe, subscribe. Pop it or like his end. head wiggling as it comes along yeah, the banner. Yeah, definitely. That's what we need. Definitely. Um, and so, yeah, and yeah, like and subscribe. Share. Share the video as well because yeah. um, it really does help YouTube. us yeah for sure yeah and the more so, people that reach the more we can do yeah. these videos yeah you you it it uh, it does have a big impact so if you haven't done already just hit that like button even if it you know you always do it or you, you haven't done it before yeah. just give it a little hit because it does actually help even us if you spread. don't like it and you want to put a, an angry or sad yeah that actually so helps okay. as well <laughs> so whatever you want yeah just gonna get loads of angry faces now. <laughs> but yeah, um, and then subscribe on YouTube and yeah, hit yeah. the bell icon so and all that good stuff. It, it, it all helps us because we want to carry on doing these yeah. uh, as as much as we can. So uh, it'd be lovely to start uh, making our audience a little bit bigger, so sure. we can keep doing these. Because uh, I really enjoy doing them, Joel. Yeah, especially you. when you get to clean stuff on camera. Yeah, live. Yeah. yeah. 
good. Won't, won't be recommending that we, again. We should do like a, a GFX sensor challenge or something in the future. Yeah. See so if you can get the. I don't think I've ever cleaned cleaner. the GFX one yet, so I need to. I'll, I'll have to practice on them. Massive. Yeah, they are huge. It's a, it's I'll be like doing a, a bit of practice over the weekend on one, I think. <laughs> Uh, yeah, big thank you. Thank you very much. And we'll see you next week. Bye-bye for now. Cheers. Bye now.